What's going on guys? How you doing? Today has been a pretty crazy day for me. My friend Obi hit me up this morning and said, Jack, can you do me a tattoo? I've never done anyone a tattoo in my entire life. So of course I said yes. We concluded after a few hours that it wasn't a good, a good idea. I did all sort of fucking designs and all type of shit. <laughs> but basically I've been doing that all day. So I just got into the office and um, I'm going to be making a video. Uh, well, I'm going to be putting all the footage from that into a funny ass video. So that's going to be coming in, in a couple days. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not too sure. Look out for it. It's very funny. Uh, without further ado, we're going to be jumping into how to transition to Premiere Pro for video editing. If, uh, you know, you've been using something that is maybe like a, you know, a, 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 what, I, what I would call like a precursor to a Premiere Pro, like a Sony Vegas or, a, you know, like a Pinnacle Studio, um, you know, one of these kind of slightly slightly inferior editors in my opinion personally premiere pro is more or less the industry standard shout out to my final cut users as well you guys is cool too um but premiere pro is more or less a, an industry standard for designing videos and creating videos so we're talking about how to transition to premiere pro and how me and emmarias my guest on the make money making videos podcast full link to the podcast down below managed to transition to Premier Pro and how uh, you know it's benefited us in the long run. Without further ado, let's do it. Welcome back to the Make Money Making Videos podcast. Yeah, that's that's pretty wild. Like, <laughs> what was your progression after that? You didn't go Pinnacle straight to Premier, did you? Well, no, I, I mean, I went straight to Premier, but I, you know, I didn't. Uh, you know, <laughs> you didn't properly go to. But you didn't really understand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what yeah, was yeah, your yeah. transition like going to Premier? Right, because that must have been even weirder. Okay, because for me. I was a Sony Vegas man for ages, bro. Literally, yeah. you know, I, I used to do the gaming channel and stuff like that. A lot of people in the gaming community, they swear by Sony Vegas. So, like, I just ended Sony up... Sony Yeah, I ended up hearing about Sony Vegas. So, I got Sony Vegas maybe 13, 14 years old or something like that. And, I, I you know, I, I learned how to edit extremely well on there. I used to make crazy fontages and stuff like that with, like, very high editing and stuff like that when I was, you know, doing the gaming thing. Um, and I kind of learned a lot on there and then I kind of got a little bit you know too committed to it and then my friend told me you know what more professional stuff is being done over there on Premiere I think we should make the switch I've made the switch you need to do it too Jack and make the fi switch exactly finally I did it you know what I mean and it took me a while to get to get used to it but it was, surely it was weirder for you to go there the you know from Pinnacle to Premiere than it was for me from Sony Vegas to Premiere so how was it like how long did it get you to to take you to kind of understand it and get comfortable with it yeah, so actually, I actually went uh, Pinnacle to uh, to the Adobe After Effects because I was like, legendary. That, that, yeah, yeah. I thought that was like the more advanced version of Same. like Premiere. Cr yeah, crackle. yeah. Keep talking, keep talking, keep talking. Yeah, yeah. So, so I was I was editing in uh, After Effects for a while, uh -huh. and then I finally did some Google search. You know, I was like, what are all these other Premiere programs? You know, because there was like a Lightroom and all these other random yep. Adobe Pro, you know, programs that I was researching. Yeah. Yep. In that research, I found like a list, and I was like, oh snap. So Premiere is actually more for sequencing, and Adobe is more for like effects. Yep. And I wasn't I wasn't using Adobe After Effects. I was like I was supposed to. I was like, why is it so like why is it so nitpicky? You, you were building to make the a video. staircase to heaven, right? You were building yeah, the yeah. staircase to heaven every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. One, there's uh -huh. no there's no two clips on the same timeline uh, on the same layer. Every layer yeah. is an individual clip, bro. So I used to do the exact same thing. You build the fucking staircase to heaven. Uh, one one clip on each on each um layer and it just goes up you have to scroll through the yeah, timeline yeah. and everything and then you kind of and then you kind of uh um subsequence it what's it called subsequence yeah um yeah, yeah. make a pre pre pre-compose yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. pre-compose pre so yeah. Pre yeah you pre-compose and then you like bring the stack all the way down and you start yeah. again you know i'm like part one is here exactly now yeah, for yeah, part yeah. two yeah the that was pretty wild show. and then uh when i switched to premiere it was kind of like it was pretty straightforward you know because yep. uh i was used to adobe thing by then mm. but um yeah like that was that was pretty wild, you know. I mean, like it's almost the same thing for me. Like you just reminded me there for sure, because I was I was Sony Vegas for for a long time, but then I got After Effects because again I thought it was just a more advanced version of Premiere Pro, yeah. um, and I would complement my edits in Sony Vegas with After Effects. So I might make some cool animated title or something like that that was just far kind of easier to make or whatever um, inside of a inside of After Effects. <laughs>